And as reactions continue to trail the recent Kaduna train attack that claimed the lives of some people on board, guests who appeared on ACNN TV morning show, now streaming, have condemned the attack, saying the leadership of the country has failed. Imagine blowing up a train, holding them, killing many and taking many hostage. Where are we going to? Nigeria is gradually liquidating. Huh. Yes. And I tell you, if we continue like this, we may not see 2023 as a country. Because as I'm talking to you now, there are different areas in this country where we have lords that are ruling in those areas. Mm -hmm. Just like in Libya. That's what we are seeing in Nigeria now. We have lords that are ruling there, take decision, decide to execute anybody, they do that, decide to do, the people pay tax to them. Mm. And we still think we have a country. Where is the country? And our leaders are here in Abuja telling us stories, telling us jamborees. Mm. It is high time. If we want Nigeria to work, we need to take our destiny in our hands. Sure. Sure. We need to ask questions because it has, it's, it's, it has gone, gotten to the level that we can no longer keep quiet. Commiserating also with the family of those who lost their lives in the attack, a pathologist and a public health advocate, Dr. Henry Ewunonu, speaking on process management, noted that going forward to mitigate such problems, railway stations should have a standing health operation to help save lives. Right with the families of those who lost their loved ones and uh, sympathize actually with them. That younger colleague of ours, Chinelo, was tweeting to his friends that she's bleeding. Mm -hmm. Help was not coming. Yes, I wonder if in that situation, you know, almost like a war front, much could have happened. But I'm sure that if there were emergency medical facilities, maybe it, would, it could oh, have God. made a difference. Are there trained op medical operatives, perhaps paramedics, on board? Are people told about what to do? Well, Even the general happened. education in the polity. You don't see health education prioritized in our institutions again. So that is how it affects our national life. We may need to go back because evil will continue to thrive. So what societies, proper societies are doing is to how to mitigate the problems.